and communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530 Entertainment LLC at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. Hello and welcome to Millennium News TV 24 7 Global News Update. My name is Todd David Goldfinger, and here are today's top stories. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Orrin Hatch, Orrin G. Hatch, the longest serving Republican senator in history, history. who was a fix, fixture in Utah politics for more than four decades died Saturday at age 88. His death was announced in a statement from his foundation, which did not specify a cause. A staunch conservative on most economic and social issues, he also teamed with Democrats several times during his long career on issues ranging from stem cell research to rights for people with disabilities to expanding children's health insurance. He also formed friendships across the aisle, particularly with the late Democratic Senator Edward M. Kennedy. Hatch also championed GOP issues like abortion limits and helped shape the U.S. Supreme Court, including defending Justice Clarence Thomas against sexual harassment allegations during confirmation hearings. He later became an ally of Republican President Donald Trump, using his role as chairman of the powerful Senate Finance Committee to get a major rewrite of the U.S. tax codes to the president's desk. In return, Trump helped Hatch deliver on a key issue for Republicans in Utah with a contentious move to drastically downsize two national monuments that had been declared by past presidents. Next news. Maggie Mulligan said her dogs could sense the panic while she and her husband packed them up, agonized over having to leave horses behind and fled a fast-moving wildfire barreling toward their home in northeast New Mexico. In quotes, We don't know what's next, she said. We don't know if we can go back to the horses. Mulligan and her husband, Bill Gombas, 67, were among the anxious residents who hurriedly packed up and evacuated their homes Friday ahead of ominous western wildfires fueled by tinder dry conditions and ferocious winds. Over a dozen sizable fires were burning in Arizona and New Mexico, destroying dozens of homes and, as of Saturday, burning more than 174 square miles. That's 451 square kilometers. Winds that howled Friday remained a concern on Saturday in northern New Mexico, where two fires merged and quadrupled in size to a combined 66 square miles, that's 171 square kilometers, in mountains and grassland northwest of Las Vegas. Next news. The Arlington County Board gave unanimous approval Saturday to Amazon's plans to build a unique helix-shaped tower as the centerpiece of its emerging second headquarters in Northern Virginia. Amazon announced the plans in February 2021 for the eye-catching 350-foot tower to anchor the second phase of its redevelopment plans. 
the new office towers will support a second headquarters for Amazon that, that is expected to welcome more than 25,000 workers when it's complete. The Helix is one of several office towers granted approval, but the Helix stands out. The spiral design features a walkable ramp wrapping around the building with trees and greenery planted to resemble a mountain hike. Amazon has said the building is designed to help people connect to nature and the outdoor mountain climb will be open to the public on weekends. Since then, the plans have gone through the famously thorough review process of Arlington County, including numerous public hearings. Earlier this month, the County Planning Commission voted 9-0 to zero to support the project. Next news. An Air Force Major General in Ohio has been convicted by a military judge of one of three specifications of abusive sexual contact. In the first ever military trial of an Air Force General, the charge faced by Major General William Cooley during the week-long court-martial at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio had three specifications, one alleging a forcible kiss and two alleging forcible touching in 2018. Cooley was convicted Saturday of the forcible kissing specification, but acquitted of the other two. Officials said the verdict marks the first court-martial trial and conviction of a general officer in the Air Force's 75-year history. A former commander of Air Force Research Laboratory, Cooley, was charged with abusive sexual contact in an encounter with a woman who gave him a ride after a backyard barbecue in New Mexico nearly four years ago. Officials said the woman is a civilian who is not a Department of Defense employee. I'm going to take a short break from the daily global English news of Millennium News TV 24-7. Please stay with us. Thank you. Millennium TV, bridging communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530entertainmentllc at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. Hello and welcome back to Millennium News TV 24-7 Global News Update. Here's the continuation of today's top stories. Thank you for being with us. Russian forces tried to storm a steel plant sheltering soldiers and civilians in the southern Ukrainian city of Mariupol. And Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky announced he would meet Sunday in his nation's capital with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. Zelensky, in a news conference, gave few details about the logistics of his upcoming encounter with Blinken and Austin, but said he expected results. In quotes, 
not just presents or some kind of cakes. We are expecting specific things and specific weapons, end quotes. It would be the first high-level U.S. trip to Kiev since before the war began on February 24th, 2022. While visiting Poland in March, Blinken stepped briefly onto Ukrainian soil to meet with the country's foreign minister. Zelensky's last face-to-face -face meeting with a U.S. leader was February 19th in Munich with Vice President Kamala Harris. Next news. Former President Donald Trump's late endorsements in hyper-competitive Republican Senate primaries in Ohio and Pennsylvania have unlocked a flood of support for his chosen candidates, including millions of dollars in cash. But the endorsements have also provoked backlash from some Republicans who believe that Trump has betrayed his core supporters by backing the, in quotes, hillbilly elegy author J.D. Vance in Ohio and TV's Dr. Mehmet Oz in Pennsylvania. Both candidates have been criticized for time spent outside their states and being insufficiently committed to the former president and his quote-unquote America First agenda. The blowback included calls by a major conservative group aligned with a Vance rival to boycott the rally Trump held in Delaware, Ohio, Saturday night, where he urged his supporters to get behind Vance, calling him, quotes, the man with by far the best chance to defeat the radical Democrat nominee for the U.S. Senate this November, end quotes. Next news. Russian forces in Ukraine tried to storm a steel plant housing soldiers and civilians in the southern city of Mariupol on Saturday. This is this is a repeat of the same news. Uh, so we're, we'll go to the next news right now, please. I'm going to talk about Cuba and the United States. Okay, Cuba and the United States took a tentative step toward thawing relations and resuming joint efforts to address irregular migration. A senior Cuban official said, following the highest level talks between the two countries in four years. There were no major breakthroughs, but the mere fact that the U.S. was holding substantive talks was a sign relations might be looking better under President Joe Biden after going into deep freeze under his predecessor, his predecessor, uh, Donald J. Trump. Uh, Deputy Foreign Minister Carlos Fernandez de Casio said Friday, in quotes, they seem committed. They ratified that they are committed to the agreements in place, in quotes. Fernandez de Casio said, in quotes, so we have no reason to distrust what they're saying, but time will tell, end quotes. The talks did not focus on broader U.S.-Cuba relations, but more narrowly on restoring adherence to previous agreements that were intended to curtail the often dangerous irregular migration from the island to the United States. In quotes. These talks helped both of us to understand the, the very the nature and the magnitude of the problem we're facing. End quotes. quotes. The deputy foreign minister, minister said in an interview with the Associated Press at the Cuban ambassador's residence outside Washington. We're going to take a short break from the daily global English news of Millennium News TV 24-7. Please stay with us. Thank you.
Millennium TV, bridging communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530entertainmentllc at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. Hello and welcome back to Millennium News TV 24-7 Global News Update. Here's a continuation of today's top stories. Thank you. Christians celebrated their holy fire ceremony at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem on Saturday against the backdrop of rising tensions with Israel. With imposed new restrictions on attendance this year that it said were needed for safety. Israel says it wants to prevent another disaster after a crowd stampede at a packed Jewish holy site last year left 45 people dead. Christian leaders say there's no need to all ceremony that has been held for centuries. In the dense confines of Jerusalem's old city, where Jews, Christians, and Muslims must share their holiest sites no matter how reluctantly, even small changes can cause prophetic angst. The city has already seen a week of clashes between Palestinians and Israeli police at the nearby Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, the third holiest site in Islam. It stands on a hilltop that is the holiest site for Jews who refer to it as Temple Mount. Next news. Grief-stricken South Africans are still searching for family members swept away by last week's floods, in which 435 people died and more than 40,000 were made homeless in the coastal city of Durban and the surrounding KwaZulu-Natal province. The South African army has deployed 10,000 troops to help find those missing, rebuild roads, bridges, and utilities and distribute emergency aid to families made destitute by the deluge. The government has allocated $67 million in relief aid for affected families. Families grimly persist searches to find the bodies of their loved ones. Joseph Nkozi, 56 years old, of Ananda Township, spends his days with neighbors searching through a debris-laden river stream for the body of his 15-year-old daughter in Tom Benhilde last seen trying to cross a low-lying bridge when the waters carried her away. In quotes, I am heartbroken. Nkosi told the Associated Press, in quotes, What I'm hoping for now is just to find her body. I have already accepted that she is no more. All I am holding on to is her school tie, which we found in this river stream. 
end quotes. Next news. Rescue workers in southern Poland have reached four of the ten miners who went missing early Saturday after a powerful underground tremor and methane, methane gas discharge hit, mining authorities said. It was the second coal mine accident this week in Poland. The condition of the four was not immediately released, and an official said there was no verbal contact with any of the missing miners. The rescue team could not immediately bring the four to the surface, and more teams will be sent to the area, said Edward Pazjorko, deputy head of the Jastrzebska Spolka Veglova company, JSW, that operates the Barinia Zofiovka mine. The accident occurred at 3.40 a.m., Saturday, some 900 meters, that's 2,950 feet underground, forcing dozens of workers to flee the mine and leaving authorities unable to contact 10 miners. It was the second colliery accident in just four days in the coal mining region around the town of Yastrzebiezdruj near the Czech border. Next news. The Ukrainian military said Saturday it destroyed a Russian command post in Kherson, a southern city that fell to Russian forces early in the war. The Ukrainian military intelligence agency posted a statement saying the command post was hit on Friday and two generals were killed, and one was critically wounded. Olech, an advisor to Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, said in an online interview that 50 senior Russian officers were in the command center when it came under attack. He said their fate was unknown. The Russian military did not comment on the claim, which could not be confirmed. We're going to take a short break from the daily global English news of Millennium News TV 24-7. Please stay with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Millennium TV, bridging communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530entertainmentllc at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. Hello and welcome back to Millennium News TV 24-7 Global News Update. Here's the continuation of today's top stories. Thank you for being with us. Scientists have analyzed the full genetic blueprint of more than 18,000 cancer samples, finding new patterns of mutations that could help doctors provide better, more personalized treatment. Their study published Thursday in the journal Science in the journal Science isn't the first to do such comprehensive comprehensive whole genome analyses of cancer samples. But no one has ever done so many. In quotes. This is the largest cohort in the world. It is extraordinary, end quotes, said Serena Nick Zainal of the University of Cambridge, who is part of the team. Just over 12... 1,200 surgical specimens came from patients recruited from the UK National Health Service as part of a project to study whole genomes from people with common cancers and rare diseases. The rest came from existing cancer data sets. 
researchers were able to analyze such a large number because of the same improvements in genetic sequencing technology that, that recently, recently allowed scientists to finally finish decoding the entire human genome. More capable, accurate machines. Next news. Boston urged people to start wearing masks Thursday, and the Biden administration weighed its next legal step in what is shaping up to be a high-stakes court fight over the abrupt end of the national mask mandate on airplanes and mass transit. The Boston Public Health Commission noted a rise in hospitalizations as well as a 65% increase in cases and an even larger spike in COVID-19 levels in local wastewater samples. It also, it it also stressed, stressed that the guidance was merely a recommendation, not an order. The country is wrestling with how to deal with the next phase of the pandemic and find the right balance in enacting health measures at a time when many Americans are ready to move on after two exhausting years. A federal judge in Florida this week threw out a national mask mandate on mass transportation and airlines and airports responded swiftly Monday by repealing their requirements that passengers wear face coverings. That put the Biden administration in the position of trying to navigate an appeal that could have sweeping ramifications over the power that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has in regulating future health emergencies. Next news. France began voting in a presidential runoff election Sunday in a race between incumbent Emmanuel Macron and far-right politician Marine Le Pen. Macron is in pole position to win the election for a second five-year term in the country's presidential runoff. Yet his lead over Le Pen depends on one major uncertainty. Voters who could decide to stay home a Macron victory in this vote, which could have far-reaching repercussions for Europe's future direction and Western efforts to stop the war in Ukraine would make him the first French president in 20 years to win a second term. All opinion polls in recent days converged toward a win for the 44-year-old pro-European centrist, yet the margin over his 53-year-old nationalist rival varies broadly from 6 to 15 percent percentage points, depending on the poll. Polls also forecast a possibly record high number of people who will either cast a blank vote or not a vote at all, or no vote at all. Next news. The Japanese Coast Guard said Sunday that rescue helicopters found seven of the 26 people from a tour boat missing in the frigid waters of northern Japan since the day before. But their conditions are unknown. Rescuers found four people near the tip of Shiratoko Peninsula earlier Sunday, and then three more people in the same area a few hours later, 
but the Coast Guard said it could not confirm whether they were rescued alive. NHK Public Television said they were unconscious. The Coast Guard said all seven people were found in the same area near the tip of the peninsula north of where the boat sent a distress call on Saturday. The location is known as a difficult place to maneuver boats because of its rocky coastline. The same tour boat had an accident last year. There. Footage on NHK showed one of the rescued people arriving on a helicopter and being transferred to an ambulance on a stretcher while rescuers held up blue plastic shields for privacy. This has been the Daily Global English News update of Millennium News TV 24-7. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Todd. Please log in to get the latest news on all of our social networking sites. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even TikTok too. TikTok is Millennium News 24. Also, our YouTube channel, you got to check it out, please. News Channel M24. Viewers, now on both network broadcasting, Android and iOS devices. Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV. Also, all smart TV platforms. Please enjoy our entertainment, our latest news, views, editorials, and current events 24-7, our Millennium TV apps, Millennium TV USA, Android, Millennium News, Google, www.millenniumnews24.com. Please stay with Millennium News 24-7. We love you. We thank you. We wish you a great day. Peace and love. Thanks.